Hey everybody, what's up? Hope we all having a good day out there today and welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher. Today we're gonna to be talking about points and how to fish a point, what a point is, um, give you guys some good tips and advice on it because guys, if, you, if you're new to fishing and don't fish very much, points are probably the number one type of structures in most any lake, pond, whatever. They're natural bass magnets, and I'm going to show you guys what one looks like and how to go about fishing it. So here guys, we go. Here's an example of a point. Now this is sort of a rounded point. It's not a real defined one, but nevertheless it's a point. Now a point is defined as a piece of land like this that basically it comes to the end. You've got a straight bank here coming to a point going back into a cove like this. So this area right here is considered the rounded point part of it. Now points, the reason they're so good is they offer a lot to the fish. They offer access to deep water. They offer the ability for them to move up shallow if they want to, just a short distance away like in this cove, or they can just keep migrating down the main lake bank and just go off wherever they want to. But anyway, bass will live, or not just bass, but all, all species of fish will live on points all year long. And the thing about points is there's three different parts to a point. There's actually the point end right here, and then these are considered the point sides. Both sides off the point um, are also good structures too. Now the point, all points are different in the fact of how they slope off. You know, now the angle of a point has to do with like how fast it drops off into deep water or how slow. Some points, like you can see this one, this is a fairly steep rocky bank, it drops off fairly deep quick, but some points run way out into the lake and they're flat before they drop off. But regardless, fish will use all different parts of these points. They'll use the end of the point here and both of the sides. Now, what determines that is this right hey guys, here. Guys, the thing that determines where you want to fish on a point is your water clarity. Uh, water clarity will completely dictate uh, you know how deep the fish are going to be on there so most of the time if you're fishing a body of water that has like less than two foot of visibility those fish are going to be shallow on the point they're going to be like in less than 10 foot of water for the most part and as the water gets clear say the water visibility gets over four foot in clarity the fish will start moving out deeper off the points and some of them will actually suspend out over the deeper water on the end of the points and some of them will use the bottom just depends on you know the time of year and that type of stuff another good thing you'll find about points is um, the how the fish use them and how they bite on them has a lot to do with your weather conditions most of the time points are a little bit better if you got a little bit of wind coming in on them and early and late in the day or low light conditions like you know cloudy days rainy days that type of stuff um, normally what I like to do guys for the most part is if, if the water temperature is over 50 degrees um, I like to start out early with uh, or you know, I'm sorry if the water temperature is over 55 degrees I like to start out early shallow on the point now sometimes like in the summertime I'll throw top water if it's a little bit cooler in the spring maybe a crankbait something like that and and then as the day comes up and the sun gets brighter I'll move out deeper on the point but the main thing is that you can do good almost on any body water you go to fishing points all year long if you if you didn't have anything else to fish go to the points uh, there's a main lake points there's other little small secondary points but anything that is considered an irregular feature is going to be a point to some extent they're great great fish magnets fish will live on them 12 months out of the year and uh, they're probably my one of my favorite structures to fish so hope that helps out we'll talk later